Well, there's a bunch of vacant land here that used to have three more houses like that. And it's freshly deforested. I just walked a grid pattern over the entire place and didn't find a single thing worth keeping. But then as soon as I almost got back to my vehicle, that's when I found something good. That is a poison bottle. Probably worth twenty, at least twenty dollars. Okay, a nice embossment on it. It's got the later style top, but it's a very clean example. Well, I'm out in the woods behind that project. Got a little bit of a dump here. Uh, it's kind of old, it's about 1920. Then we got a bunch of trash there and there's a whole bunch of piles up that way. Okay, I found one of these unusual jars. It's got a shallow opening on one end and a deep opening on the other end. Screw top on either side. Pretty strange. Then I got a big pile right here. Could be a thousand bottles buried in here. Looks like a Mountain Dew bottle maybe. Not quite the age I'm looking for, but I'll dig into it for a while and see what it's got going. It's got a lot of glass, but a lot of it's broken and it's just not old enough. Got a pair of these sun drops, but the paint's kind of ruined, so I guess I'll have to leave them. Looks a bit older over this way. Looks like a milk bottle. Yeah, it sure is. Well, it's a Pine State Creamery, and if I'm not mistaken, that's out of Raleigh. So I'm about 150 miles northeast of Raleigh, so that was kind of odd that that would be there. Pretty big pile of junk in here. Usually I can't stand finding these lamb jars, but I have never seen one in this smaller size before. And of course, it had to be broken up. I found a True Aid embossed one, luckily, because if it was painted, it probably wouldn't be still painted. Always bring a plastic bag with you so you can carry your finds home. Well, I was just walking out and I found this soda sticking out of the ground. Looks like a pretty nice one. It may pop. While continuing to walk out, I just noticed a big pile. I'm sure you know what that is. Alright, I've got a few more things showing up. Looks like a milk bottle. Of course, it doesn't say anything on this one. Then we've got an ACL showing up. It's a Robertson's. Lost all of its paint though. Well, this side actually has most of it. Well, sometimes when you're out there scavenging for bottles, you find other stuff. That's about seven pounds of copper wire. So I might be able to get about $20 for this. There's a couple of old tags off of some appliances from the 20s or 30s. Well, I got permission to dig a privy in somebody's backyard, and I had a hard time finding it, but I finally found what I thought was a privy. It turned out to be a dump, and it had a lot of different ages mixed in it, even though it was only three feet deep. Here's a tooled top Anheuser-Busch from the Norfolk branch. And I got a 1915 Coke bottle. It's from Greenville, North Carolina, and it seems to be in mint condition. 
And another one of the good ones is this Maypop. It's the first one I've ever found that wasn't cracked or bruised up. Then I got this beer from about 1917. Pretty common, but worth a few dollars anyway. Then I got this sauce type bottle. It looks like it's from the turn of the century. Then I got this soda. It's about 1917, but it has no embossing on it. Then I got the Groves Tasteless Chill Tonic. Machine made. Maybe a four dollar bottle. Then I got the Capudine that's a headache cure. Maybe about three and a half dollars. This would have been a really nice soda. Blown in the mold. Of course it had to be broken. Then I found this whiskey fit that's semi-automatic machine made. Then a Garrett and Company Virginia Dare. Another three dollar bottle. And the rest is just too common to really talk about. Here's another nice one I found. This one was in the creek. And as you can see, it has a very interesting patina on it. It also has peanuts all over it. And the bottle itself is almost the color of a peanut. Then I found one of these inks. Might be able to get five dollars for that. So I think I found about a hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff today. If you can't do that in eight or nine hours of digging then you're just not doing good enough.